Welcome back everybody to yet another episode. I guess cue the voice overlay. You're gonna be seeing me repairing my phone. I got the, or my phone is the OnePlus 6T. I got it back in 2018 when it released. It's about four years ago now. A little bit longer than four years actually. That being said, uh, my back panel was broken for quite some time now. So I decided to just, you know, order the spare part and then I might as well remove the battery or replace the battery because it, it's still all right, but it's not the best. Like you'd actually have to charge it during the day as well. And uh, since I'm gonna be removing the back panel anyways, I might as well replace the battery as well. Repairing the OnePlus 6T isn't hard at all. You just get a hairdryer or a heating gun and then you just pry it open. With, I literally did it with my fingernail and then stuck in the playing cards as you could probably see or saw just then. That being said, really simple. I was my first phone repair ever with adhesive and all that. Took me about 23 minutes just, you know, trying it out first try and it worked. Phone is now perfectly in order again. Definitely can't complain. I'm definitely cheaper than you know, sending it off, not having a phone, and then paying for the repair. I don't have a quote, but I suppose, because the spare parts themselves were about 60 euros, a little bit more, I think, even. So I'm guessing it probably double that, or even more, for like 20, 30 minutes of work. I mean, I get, I totally understand why they would charge that, because obviously it's a service, and there's guarantee on that. But if you do know, or if you do want to do it yourself, you go down to iFixit or just give it a Google YouTube. There's a lot of spare parts and a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to fix your phones. It is not, it, it seems daunting, but it really isn't. It's quite simple. You just gotta be careful if you do have a new phone that you make sure that there's no wireless charging or at least that you look on which side the wireless charging ribbon cable would be plugged into so you don't pry it open and cut it by accident. That being said though, I'm gonna cut this video short now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode again. Peace.